morning, everyone. I'm Christy Casciano. I'm Jeff Kulikowski. It's a day doubters thought might not come, but optimists always do would happen. Construction of Micron's mega fab campus underway now in the town of Clay. And the real work starts next week, but first a chance for the community to celebrate. News Channel 9's Andrew Donovan has a front row seat to the pomp and circumstance. It's a story that's simply Syracuse. Shovels needed for snow before the soil. A ceremonial dig into the dirt that starts 20 years of construction. My first visit to this site happened, I was remembering this morning, four years ago to the day. It was January of uh, 2022. We visited this location when we were determining where to build in all of the USA. And toss. Micron's CEO is back, instructing the first excavator to get to work. We are going to be starting digging here. We're going to start preparing the site, pouring concrete later this year. The first of four chip making fabs producing semiconductors only four years from now. We are officially setting the stage for a site that will power the AI revolution with the world's most advanced memory. On these fields, we will rise vertically to build multiple ultra pure clean rooms and more than just factories. They will be amongst the most sophisticated manufacturing sites, precision manufacturing, nothing like any other manufacturing in the world. The second fab opens in eight years, the third in 12 years, and the fourth in 16 years. We will have 25% of all the semi advanced semiconductor chips made along the I-90 corridor from Buffalo to Rochester to Syracuse to Utica to Albany. The sadness, the tears in parents' eyes when they waved goodbye to their kids because they had to leave are now smiles. People are coming back. When Joe Biden and Chuck Schumer were able to pass the Chips and Science Act in that spring, literally two days later, I said, that doesn't help New York, that helps other states as well. It makes it a kind of a level playing field. How do I give New York State an advantage? And we put in the extra money and allow them to benefit from that. And that's, I literally just walked off my speech and Sanjay, the CEO said, you know, you know we wouldn't be here without you. And that, for me, that just meant everything as someone who went to school in Syracuse and lived during the decline of, you know, manufacturing and industry in upstate New York from Syracuse to Buffalo, where I come from. Welcome to the White Pine Business Park, home of the greatest memory technology company in the world, an American company, governor of New York company, and to all of us, an Onondaga County company. What a day of memories for the memory chip making future of Central New York. You know, Jeff and Christy, so often politicians like to take credit for projects. And, and you, saw, you saw that today. A little bit. But each of them did have a role. The federal mm -hmm. government brought chips back to America. Right. New York State brought chips back to New York State. Onondaga County brought chips to Onondaga County. Each level of government had to do a, a, a really hard thing to attract this company to America, to New York, and then to Central New York. And so far it's happening. And that's why you could see the joy in everyone when, when they were speaking or, or just interacting with one another. These leaders have, have delivered a lot, something that no one thought would happen and something that hasn't happened in, in at least a generation. And regardless of political affiliation, they all came together. Yep. Republicans and Democrats, yep. people that don't affiliate with any party, were in that room today. The, the credit is, 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 is deserving to, to a lot of those people. And now the work begins. It's a 20-year yeah. project. We yeah. can't repeat that enough. The doubters will continue to doubt because they'll see one fab and not the second. Well, the second is promised and then the third is promised and I was talking to a Micron executive today who, who kind of asked me off camera what are the doubters still saying what's there to doubt <laughs> they said let us build one first yeah. then we've got to, bu to build the second we got to build the first give us a chance right. we'll give them a chance and are they starting as soon as next week you know I don't know that I have an explicit answer uh, okay. on that but I, I think so okay. uh, the, the permits are there they have a very tight yes. window yep. in order to, to, to Clear the land. The bat, right. the, the bat that everyone jokes about 
because of that, they have to complete this project mm -hmm. this first quarter of the year, complete the land clearing, and then to get the federal incentives, the, the, the tax credits, they need to lay foundation by the end of the calendar year. So right. yes, yeah. they're on a tight, tight schedule. schedule. Tight schedule. And I, uh, everything I can tell, the, the work starts next week. Work starts next week. All right, we'll, we'll be watching. It. Thanks, Andrew. Download the WSYR Plus app on your TV to stream News Channel 9 for free. Just go to your smart TV, search WSYR Plus in the App Store, and download to start streaming today.